Hello everyone, this is Jen and today we will discuss about descriptive statistics. So under descriptive statistics, we have three major topics. Um, the first one is the measures of central tendencies, followed by measures of variability. And the third is the other measures of location. So to analyze the data, we can use the measures of central tendency. Why do we need to use this tool? So this is used to describe a set of data by identifying the typical or central value or location. So for example, you are asked, um, when do you go to church? So you would say, typically, I would go to church on Sunday okay so for example um, you're asked to um, how much profit will you earn from your business so you would say typically or in the average or most likely I could earn um, 15,000 a month so that is an example of um, measure of identifying um, or describing the data using the measurements of central tendency. So there are three measures commonly used in identifying the central tendency. We have mean, median, and the mode. So the mean is used to identify the arithmetic average in a set of data. Well, the median is the middlemost or centermost value in a data set. Next is the mode, which is the most frequent or occurring value in a data set. Another way of analyzing the data is the use of variability. Other books call this as measures of dispersion, measures of deviation, or measures of variation. So when to use this? This is used to know about the spread or variability of the data set. So how one value differ to the other values. This is also used to test the reliability of an average so that we can give a better image or picture of a data set we need to use both the measures of central tendency and the measures of variability so these are the four measures of variability the first one is the range next is standard deviation third variance and the fourth coefficient of variation and lastly, if you want to describe the data based on um, in whatever location with respect to the distribution, we can use the fractiles. This is actually fractiles. So fractiles are measures of location which include not only the central location but also any position based on equal divisions. So these are the three types of fractiles. The first one is the quartiles. So what are quartiles? This is what we call when we divide a distribution or a data set into four equal parts. So for example, 100% divided by 4, so the first quartile is 25%, the second quartile is the 50%, the third quartile is the 75%, and the fourth quartile is 100%. Another one is the deciles. So the deciles divides the distribution into 10 equal parts. So for example, first decile is 10%. The second decile is 20% and so on. The last one is the percentiles. So percentiles divide the distribution into 100 equal parts. Here we can have 1%, 2%, 3%.
So today we will discuss on how to use Excel in solving in solving descriptive statistics like measures of central tendency, measures of variability, and other measures of location like quartile. So first, you need to make sure that you have installed the data analysis tool pack. Here it can be seen in data and data analysis over. So if you don't see this first um, you need to install it so how so you can click file click options click add ins then click analysis tool pack so when you are able to click the analysis tool pack, tool pack you can click go so when you click go a window will appear and make sure you're able to check all these items then click okay so with that or now you have now the data analysis tool pack installed in your Excel. So why do we install this? Because this um, tool can help us analyze data. Like we can use ANOVA, correlation, covariance, descriptive statistics, regression analysis t-test, z-test, and more. So, how to use this? First, you need to make sure that you prepared a set of data, or we call it as distribution. In this demonstration, we have a sample of student scores. So, to know how many students partake in this study, you can count them by simply input equals type count open parenthesis then highlight the data then click enter so as you can see we have an output number of 16 so this means there are 16 students partake in this example so how to solve this um, discrete basic descriptive statistics how to solve for the measures of central tendency, measures of variability, and other measures of rotation like the quartiles. So, we can use the data analysis tool, but you just need to click it. So, before that, you need to click data, the tab for data, then data analysis, then click descriptive statistics. So, in the input box, there is a cell. So, if it is blank, you can click this icon this means that you need to select the array of values so you can highlight the student scores then if you want to go back to the window you need to click this icon so if your data is arranged in vertical order you can click columns but if it is arranged in horizontal order you can click rows Next is the output box. So this means uh, in this box you will need to see where you will um, see the result and and the outcome or the output of the analysis. So you can click output range if you want that the result can be seen in the same sheet. You can click the new worksheet ply if you want to have another sheet or sheet number four but on the same file you can click new workbook if you want another file so if i want to see my result in the same sheet in the same file i can click this click this icon and i can select in this cell so this means in this cell um, this is where the data will be displayed so i'll go back to the window then click this button so then click summary statistics then click ok <laughs> so we have here our the result of our analysis we have a mean median mode and the rest so you can transfer this data into this um, table so that you can organize your idea for a better presentation 
so you can click this part this is for the mean then to copy the data you just you can input equals then enter the volume okay then for the median equals for the mode for the range for the standard deviation variance so here you go and for the quartiles so quartiles is one of the measures of location so for the first quartile or the 25% of the distribution you can have you can input the function formula equals type quartile or when you type this you can see this drop down list you can click quartile highlight the array of values comma one enter so 44 0.5 so this means that 25 percent of the distribution falls below 44.5 next quartile 2 you can write two then select quartile highlight the distribution comma since we're looking for quartile 2 you need to input 2 enter so this means that 50% of the distribution or half of the distribution is below 56 next the third quartile you can type 2 select quartile highlight the distribution comma 3 so this means 75% of the distribution falls below 65, the score of 65. And lastly, the fourth quartile, we have equals, cute, quartile, highlight the distribution, comma, four. Okay. This means that the entire sample, or the 100% of the sample, falls below 76. Next is the interquartile range. So it has the idea that it is the difference between third quartile and the first quartile. So that is equal to Q3 65 minus quartile Y 44.5. So, so this is now the basic descriptive statistics using Excel. I hope you learn and enjoy watching this video.